Uh, moving on, recently we were invited to the press premiere of the new film, What's Your Number, starring Anna Faris and Chris Evans. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of a big deal. It's about searching for that special someone, so we sent our resident lonely heart, correspondent Greg Blanda, to talk with the film stars. Let's get him out here, Greg. Aww. Greg, how are you, buddy? Not good, yeah. not good. That's a bunch of crap. What are, you, what are you talking about? Kim, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pat Warner. I'm on the phone right now with my ex, uh, Kim, and she's being totally unreasonable. Look, if you, if you want to go to John, if you want to go to Jamba Juice with Alex, that's, that's your life, okay? I don't care. Okay. I just don't care. Focus. You tell us about meeting the stars of what's your number. That's why you're here. Kim, Kim look, okay, just cool your jets for two seconds, okay? Land a plane, cool your jets. <laughs> sorry, Pat. Um, yeah, meeting the cast was really neat. Okay. And uh, actually, you know, I think Miss Anna Ferris might have had a thing for me, romantically speaking. <laughs> Yeah, did you hear that, Kim? Are you jealous? Yeah, you don't have to role play the house bunny anymore. I got the real one. Uh, yeah. All right. But obviously, you were more focused in the interview, I hope, right? Let, let, let's take a look. Focus. Focus. It's time to face the facts. How many relationships do I have to have before I meet the right guy? Is it possible that all my exes got better with time? You help me track down my exes, I'll help you escape yours. You got a deal. Basically, before I came here, I, I got excited and texted all my exes and all my, like, some of my best friends. And basically, told them I was going to be here to make them jealous because I was going to meet some, you know, big time Hollywood celebrities today. How'd that go? Uh, not too bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, actually, my boy Kyle's on the phone right now. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm finally asking, uh, in the movie you played a guy who was like overweight before, and then you got like real skinny, you know what I'm saying, got all handsome. Um, so like, you know, basically it was like a real raging bull, you know, De Niro kind of role for you because you put on that weight and lost it. How'd you do it? Well, uh, unlike Robert De Niro and Raging Bull, I wear a fat suit. I can't ask him that. Chris, uh, sorry right. about this. No, uh, okay. Basically, uh, he wants to know, you know, he's like big Super America, uh, Cap America fan. He loves all, Obviously he loves all your work. Obviously not if you think it's super Well, that's me talking. I'm no, repeating what he's saying. Blew it. You blew it. He used to be like, you know, pretty good looking dude, but now he's like over. You are, dude. You are overweight now. You want me to talk to him? Yeah, please tell him. Just tell Cop. Yo, Playboy, get in the gym, man. Nobody wants your fat ass laid up on them, Playboy. That's tough love right there. I'm not going to ask her that. I'm not going to I'm not going to ask her if she'll go out with you. No, Can't... someone else is calling right now anyway. I gotta go. I'm sorry about that. That was really no, unprofessional. No, no, no. I haven't talked about them. It's my ex, Kim, right now. Yeah, I'm, oh. hanging, out with, I'm hanging out with uh, Anna right now. Yeah, just the two of us. She's wearing an enchanting fragrance as well. That th things are getting pretty hot and heavy. Yeah, just act like you're enjoying my company. Like loudly. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. I love your sweater. I love your sweater. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's wearing your old uh, sleeping t-shirt. It's comfy. <laughs> yeah. Just say, I'm having the best time of my whole life with you. I'm having the best time of my whole life with you. Can you hear that? Yeah. Nope, she is. Proof is in the pudding right now. And we're about to have pudding for dessert, among other things. Banana pudding. She said banana pudding. That's a euphemism. <laughs> Sorry, Kim, I gotta go. I got an enchanting evening. Bye, party. Kim. Take that, bitch. Well, you actually made an impression uh, with Anna Ferris. So I guess you don't need Kim after all, right? It's... What? Keep it down. Kim and, during the segment, Kim and I just made up. That's right, Kim. Right, I love you. I'll, you guys. I'll take you to Quiznos tonight. Job. I'll let you get a toasted, whatever you want. I yeah. love you. I guess love conquers all. Bye, Greg. Wow.